Kaize sets the tone for our prayer today. My light and my salvation. What more could we want? Thank you for joining us. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verse 38. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In today's brief gospel passage, we have the Annunciation, the angel Gabriel telling Mary that she is to be the mother of the Savior. But also we have Mary's powerful yes and powerful openness to God's will. As we hear it, we have to wonder about, wasn't she afraid? Was she uncertain? Did she completely understand what was happening to her? And yet what we must focus on is the fact that Mary said, yes, let me be open to your will. I think that's something we need to reflect on in our own lives today, asking ourselves, am I open to God's will? Am I open to freely saying, let it be done to me, Lord, what you are asking of me, what you are calling me to, what you might be asking me to let go of so that I can be more closely united with you and your will in our fear, in our anxiety, in our nervousness about that. Let us be people of faith who, like Mary, say, yes, Lord. Yes to your will. I will believe that what you want me to do, what you are asking of me, will draw me closer to you, to your way, and to your will. And on this feast of Mary, the mother of God, Let us turn to the Father as she herself did so often in her life and empty our prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us who are sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, didn't we just have a Marian feast last week? Then you would be correct. Our Lady of Fatima was just this past Monday, a week ago. But, you know, we celebrate, celebrate, (laughs) excuse me, but we celebrate upwards of 20 Marian feasts throughout the year because, well, she is the mother of Jesus, (laughs) our first saint in the church and her greatest claim to fame the woman who has been on the cover of Time magazine more than any other. Yeah, 
That's true. But it's also like she could really care. <laughs> anyway, folks, thank you for praying with us today. Let's ask her intercession as we begin our new week. With the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you, now and forever. Amen. Spread the love, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>